2017 Jaguar's 20D AWD diesel. Ever since BMW lost its laser focus on driving dynamic superiority when it launched its 2012 F30 3 Series redesign, we've been searching for a suitably satisfying replacement as our favorite all-around, everyday car that best combines practicality with driving sophistication. Among newcomers, the Cadillac ATS impressed dynamically but was missing pretty much everything else, and the Lexus is as compelling only in specific trim levels. With aluminum intensive construction and an attractive price, could Jaguar's news become the one? Ripping around our favorite winding, two-lane roads, this certainly feels less isolated than the 3 Series, a great start. Even though this particular car wore 18-inch all-season tires, our Sport V6 models are available with 20-inch performance rubber, lateral grip was a still impressive 0.88 grams, which is more stick than this as minimally bolstered seats can handle. However, despite more than ample grip, taut wheel and body control, and quick steering, linking corners and this doesn't come as naturally as in our transcendent favorites. Frankly, and somewhat surprisingly, its bigger and heavier brother, the XF, possesses more of this corner carving effortlessness. We also don't like that as his brake pedal has a bit of softness early in its stroke before the system starts to respond more linearly with additional pedal pressure. We've noticed this undesirable quality on a number of recent Jaguars, making us wonder if it's a misguided part of Jaguar's tuning philosophy. Initially, we found this is right to be slightly too abrupt over expansion joints and other sharp impacts. When we hop onto the driver's seat the next day, the recommended tire pressures, the value we set when testing cars, practically leapt off of the Doverge and Placard, 43 pounds per square inch front and 47 rear. Why so high? When we inquired, Jaguar officials claimed it was to be robust when the car is loaded to this is maximum cargo and passenger capabilities. But we're skeptical, since many competitors manage similar loads without such astronomical pressures, and we suspect that fuel economy ratings were actually the driving factor here. The owner's manual also lists a comfort setting of 34 pounds per square inch front and rear, which is for up to three occupants and one luggage item. Using that preferable lower setting, we found this has much more satisfying responses, the tires seem to bite the pavement better in response to steering wheel inputs, and the lower inflation pressure also took the sharp edge off the ride. The steering effort is lighter than our ideal, though, even in the sportiest dynamic mode, which has only a slight effect on weight. On the positive side, this setup does make this feel lighter on its tires than it is. And this can use the help, as its mass was one of the biggest surprises, despite aluminum intensive construction, a curb weight of nearly two tons makes it the heaviest in its class. delivers on fuel economy, less so on performance. This 20D is one of the few remaining diesel offerings in its class, starting at $37,395, a $1,500 premium over the gasoline-fueled 2.0-liter turbo. Our test car scaled the options ladder nearly to the top at a breathtaking $56,345. That climb started with the addition of all-wheel drive, $2,500, and skipped past the premium and prestige trim to the top, our sport model, a $10,100 edition that adds a host of comfort, convenience, and driver assistance items along with a more aggressive look from a modified front bumper and the addition of side sails and a trunk lid spoiler. On top of that, our car had the $2,100 comfort and convenience package, heated and ventilated front seats and heated rears, a power trunk lid, and rear window shade, the $2,700 technology package, including Jaguar's latest in-control touch pro infotainment and navigation system running on a 10.2-inch touchscreen, a 17-speaker Meridian sound system, and Wi-Fi connectivity, the $1,000 adaptive shocks, and $550 glacier white metallic paint. <laughs>